Good morning, good morning to everybody. God bless you, wherever you're watching from, from around the world. I want to welcome everybody um, to this beautiful morning broadcast. And I believe that uh, your night was blessed. I believe that um, this is a day that the Lord has made and uh, will be glad in the and uh, I, I specifically want to deal with dreams. I specifically want to deal with um, spirits that comes to your dreams to take what belongs to you. Because this is what a lot of people are going through around the world. Most of you are having attacks in your dream life. There was one of my messages I preached on YouTube. And uh, I, I practically told you guys that... Um, one of the fastest way for God to reach out to you is through dreams. And one of the best way for the enemy to steal what God has given you is through dreams. Now, if you're not spiritual, you'll not be able to understand what I'm saying. But if you're spiritual, you'll be able to understand what I'm saying. Now, whether you are spiritual or not, God has sent me this morning to deal with that issue of dreams. And as I, begin, as I begin to pray for you and as I begin to intercede for you, there's going to be a touch of the Spirit in your life. Whatever it is that, that the enemy has taken from you through dreams is about to be restored. I need you to start a watch party right now. Let's reach out to as many people as we can. We had a wonderful time yesterday. And I believe that um, we're going to have a wonderful time right now. We're going to have God is going to touch you, whatever you are. So now, right now, most of us, we are home. We are not going to work, so we don't have excuse not to participate on this broadcast. God bless you. As you tune in, God bless you. God bless you, wherever you are. Please just click on the share button and start a watch party. As you click on the share button, you just scroll down of your page. Facebook will give you options. You just click on the watch party and you start. Because I want to deal with dreams. There is nobody in life that does not dream. Whether you are broke, whether you are rich, whether you are average, whether you are short, you are tall, you are fat, you are slim, whatever it is, people dream. And we live in a generation where the enemy, the Bible says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. We are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy. The enemy is very smart. I can tell you that most people are where they are today because there was a satanic deposit on their dream life. Every time you, you keep consistently having dreams that are scary, nightmares, bad dreams, it shows that there is a blessing that the enemy is trying to steal. The enemy tries to, the enemy, the, remember the Bible says in John chapter 10 verse 10, the Bible says the thief cometh to steal, to kill, and to destroy. So the enemy comes to steal what God has given you in your dream. Most people, they're about to get a contract, they have a dream. Some I've heard many times, I remember a young lady who tells me, who came, who called us on the phone, I beg your pardon, and said to me, every time I get pregnant, once it's three months, there's a dream that I had. And after that dream, I wake up, I see blood. You understand? Some women, they even dream about their period. is manipulating. Some men, they dream about, you know, seeing themselves inside poopoo, -poo, inside a, a latrine. A man sent me a message yesterday after the broadcast. He said he sees himself inside the latrine, um, like where people poopoo, -poo, like a pit toilet. He sees himself inside. You know, it's a sign that there's a demonic spirit of shame. Some people dream they see themselves naked. Some people dream they see themselves in their secondary school, in their primary school, in the university that they have passed out from. Some people see themselves in the classroom. Some people see themselves dogs pursuing them. Some people see themselves under the water. Some people see themselves by the beach. Some people see themselves married to a particular man when they are not married physically. That is talking about spirit husbands and spirit wife. There are a lot of things that people need to understand about dreams. Most of you are where you are today because your dream has been manipulated. 
Some women will see themselves carrying babies in the dream, but physically they don't have children. Why? Because there's a spirit husband that they're already giving birth for, and the spirit husband doesn't want them to give birth physically. Some men, they see themselves very rich in the dream, very, very rich, driving good cars, but physically they are stranded. Why? Because the spirit wife doesn't want another woman to enjoy the wealth in the physical, so she prefers for him to be rich in the spiritual than for him to be rich in the physical. Listen to me, guys. Have you, ever, have you ever thought about this? Why is it that negative dreams manifest faster than positive dreams? Because the spirit husbands and the spirit wife don't mind negativity to happen to you. But anything positive, they prefer it to happen to them. So it's more or less like an exchange of your, of your glory. So that's why God has sent me this morning to be able to handle dreams. Wherever you are, I want you to get ready. Because as I start to pray, every negative exchange is about to be cancelled. I don't care how long it has been, how long you have been dreaming with negative dreams and all that. I want you to trust God with me this morning. I normally don't come up this time, but the Lord instructed me. He said, come up, deal with dream. Many of you looking at me, you are not, you don't have a job because spirituality, they, you see, most people have spirit husbands and spirit wives, but they don't know. We live in a spirit world. If you're not spiritual, you will not be able to understand. Nothing sponsors poverty like the water world. Nothing sponsors barrenness like the water world. Nothing sponsors confusion and stagnation like the water world. Nothing sponsors delay in marriage, delay in finances, delay in prosperity, delay in health, be like the marine kingdom. Most of you watching me now, you are one or you are somehow connected to the water, and that is why things are not working. You keep asking yourself, What is going on? What is going on with my life? Why is everything stagnant? Why is nothing working to me? It's because you have not handled the water kingdom in Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. The Bible says, In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void. Look at this. And the earth was without form and void. And darkness was upon the face of the deep. So every time the water kingdom is after a man, the life of the person is meaningless. Everything about the person's life becomes meaningless. Some of you watching me right now, nothing is working at all. Your life is totally meaningless because of the connection of the water. We are going to break that power right now. I will, that's why I want you to share this video. Click on the share button right now. And just scroll down. Facebook is going to give you options. Click on the watch party and start a watch party right now. People need to hear this. Because as I begin to pray, deliverance is going to be happening right now. People are going to begin to get healed. People are going to be get restored. restored. Think, you know, um... The Lord told me something three days ago. The Lord said to me, cancer is sponsored by the water kingdom. Now, listen to this. Any sickness without cure, I'm not talking about Jesus. I'm talking about medical cure, like cancer, high blood pressure, um, leukemia, um, um, and arthritis. You know, any disease, not all disease. Some disease are sponsored by our, you know, our carelessness and all that. But I'm telling you, any disease that does not have a cure is sponsored by the water kingdom because it's a direct target against your rising. Most people eat in the dream. I hear pastors say, oh, I said this before when I was growing up as a preacher. Uh, when you eat in the dream, you know, it's vitamin to your soul. Well, we can talk some but spiritual is spiritual. The Bible says Peter dreamt and a forfeited beast was given to him. That's where a lot of Christians mistake this. They say, no, pig is, is a bad meat. That's not true. Because in that scripture, they talked about four-footed animals. Cow is a four-footed animal. We eat cow. Sheep is a four-footed animal. We eat sheep. Am I speaking there? Rabbit. Um, no, no. Uh, uh, there are so many animals that are four-footed. The buffalo. The elephant. They are four-footed animals. That doesn't mean that they are unclean. What the scripture was saying is that eating in the dream is dangerous. Most of you watching me now, you eat in the dream. Most of you watching me right now, you see yourself married in the dream. Listen to me. You better take this broadcast serious because it is for your own good. 
and and as I begin to pray, something will react in the spirit. I can tell you, there's going to be a reaction in the spirit. God is going to deliver you. Distance is not a barrier. Some of you are just waking up. Some of you are still on your bed. Some of you are about to go to sleep. It, I don't know the, the time in your country, but God has sent me this morning to speak into your life. You need deliverance over your dream life. Greatness is in dreams. Poverty is in dreams. Dreams is a combination of a whole lot of stuff. And when your dream life is manipulated, your life is manipulated. God speaks to people through dreams. The devil speaks to people through dreams. Most times people's life becomes so manipulated because of satanic dreams. Dreams of the underworld. God could not create anything until he dealt with the water spirits. God could not create. Most of you, your life cannot move forward. You know, we talk a lot about, um, we talk a lot about, uh, uh, um, yeah, goat, exactly, exactly, my, uh, 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 Bidan, yeah. Some people dream about goats in their dream. Some people see themselves eating in the dream. Some people see themselves having sex in the dream some people even see snakes pursuing them some people see dogs pursuing them some people see all kind of stuff in their dreams and and they wake up they don't even pray they don't even look for a prophet to deliver them because as far as they are concerned it's just a dream there's nothing that is just a dream anything you see in your dream needs to be taken seriously if your life must move forward you must be a conqueror in your dream life because whatever you don't conquer in your dream will conquer you spiritually physically whatever you don't conquer in your dream and that is why most of you take your dream for lightly and that is why your life is where it is today <clears throat> where it is today some women can't get married no matter the good men they see no matter the good men that comes into their life have you ever asked yourself why that man just wakes up and just walk out of your life not because he's bad not because there's another woman somewhere but because there's a spiritual attack from your spirit husband that doesn't want you to settle down have you ever asked yourself why you walk into bad girls every time you fall in love with wrong women men you fall in love with wrong women every time because your heart is broken it's because there are satanic attacks attacks from your dream life that is fighting you satan and that's why as we start to pray you will open your mouth yourself and you begin to declare you begin to pray as we start to pray right now we begin you will begin to declare you begin to intercede you begin to pray because something is about to happen a miracle god is about to separate you from satanic dreams i want you to trust god with me but please share this video because listen to me one of the ways for you to be delivered from your dream life is to obey prophetic instructions click on the share button and start a watch party on your page right now as you are touching others god will begin to touch you as this video is touching others somebody said i had a dream of twins you see what i'm talking about that is a spirit of taking what belongs to you it's 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 sometimes some people have dreams of triplets some people and sometimes most of the people that have those dreams you see that their finances are under attack <clears throat> or their marital life is under attack or their their children have you ever seen most women that have not given birth they used to have dreams of children that shows that they are not barren they are not barren no woman is barren no woman i'm telling you there is no woman on the face of the planet that is barren but there is a connection in the underworld. There's a connection with the water. Sometimes, sometimes it's not necessarily that you have a spirit husband. But sometimes it's just that the water spirit is after your glory. So it might be a covenant from, from, from the family line or from generational curses. Sometimes it's spiritual husband. I had a lady, um, uh, 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 will I call her a lady? I wouldn't say she's my spiritual daughter. She called me a mama, I don't know if mama remembers this, uh, uh, about a year ago. And she said there's a man that walks from the wall, comes into a room. Do you remember that lady? Mm -hmm. Walks from physically. He walks through the wall, comes into a room, and she becomes paralyzed on the bed. She can't move. He will make love to her physically. After making love to her, he will stand up, he will go through the wall again and disappear. 
Some people's life are it, and she's not married. No man wants to stay with her. Why? Because there is a connection with the water spirit. You need to know this. This will help you. Some of you, your business can move forward because your spirit wife, your spirit husband doesn't want another physical person to enjoy your wealth. So they prefer if God can open your eye to see how rich you are in the spirit, you'll be angry. If God can open your eye to, to see how rich you are in the spiritual realm, how wealthy you are in the spiritual realm, you'll be angry. You'll be upset that what is going on with my life? Why is my life this way? It's not because what is going on, it's not, it's not because what is going on with your life. It's because you have not separated yourself from the water world, the, the spirit world. The, the Akila Bosha Palamahata. As I'm saying this right now, the, the, the water kingdom, they are angry. Look at this, baby. I I, I made a, I made an investigation. I was studying something yesterday. Every country that is surrounded by water have three spirits. They have a spirit of promiscuity, they have a spirit of barrenness, and they have a spirit of delay in marriage. Make your investigation. Full of single mothers. Full. South, South Africa, Namibia, Lesotho, just name it, Southern African countries, they are full of single mothers. I don't have an issue with single mothers. But let me tell you something, no woman wants to be single with a child. Every woman wants to have a man, married, happy in their home. This madness of I don't care has destroyed a lot of lives and destinies. You have the first child. No, the husband, the man left. You had the second child, the man left. You had the third child, the man left. Up to the fourth child, and nothing is telling you that something is wrong with my life. It's because of the spirit. Somebody said, I had a dream. You can write your dreams, and um, and uh, I want us to interact. You can even, if you have an experience of what I'm talking about, you can write. Somebody said, I had a dream that a, a dog pursued me and took what I was holding in my hands. That is the spirit of witchcraft. Uh, 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 I don't know how to pronounce your name. Ifike. That is the spirit of witchcraft attacking the works of your hands. That, that spirit will never allow money to stay in your head. The Bible says the vowel and take it by. I don't know the problem, the satanic attack, the conspiracy, the, the onslaught of hell over your life in the in the dream world. But listen to me. God has sent me this morning to scatter your agenda. God has sent me this morning to bulldoze and to destroy every agenda of hell over your life. As we start to pray. You're going to open your mouth where you are and you're going to pray. But I'm opening your eyes to be able to see what is going on. Dreams are real. If you had, if you had any bad... Some people can't... Some, have you noticed that some, some people can't sleep at night? <clears throat> but they sleep in the day. You know why? Because your spirit husband is busy making love to you. That's why you can't sleep. Sometimes... It's not spirit husband. Sometimes the water world doesn't want your spirit man to pick them because there, there are some certain things that... That's why the Bible says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 is not really talking about um, just glory alone. Because listen to me, glory speaks of your dream. Glory is connected to your dream. That's why the Bible says arise and shine. Because, listen to this, most people can't shine because their dream life has been polluted, manipulated, orchestrated by hell. But your deliverance is about to manifest. A lady said to me, she has, she always see herself having four children in her dream. And this is 39 years without children. How do you explain that? You had you had some you had somebody said something? Yeah, yeah, yeah tell me. I was saying that sometimes God wants us to pray particularly about something that the enemy is about to do and shows it in our dream and we take it carelessly without praying. No, anything you dream, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's God, but anything you dream, your spirit man is speaking that something is wrong. Okay. 
your spirit man is speaking somewhere that something something is something is just definite because every man is a spirit when you are born again when you if you have the life of god in you you know you are not in the dark but it's just that we ask some i'm guilty about that too sometimes you know we we are so careless about our dreams and and our life can move forward until you make a deliberate concrete decision to handle your dream life to handle your dream life and that's what god has sent me this morning to do most of you watching me you need you need serious deliverance and god and i trust god distance is not a barrier we're going to pray for you today that god is going to set you free from from manipulations what i'm hearing what i'm hearing in the spirit is manipulations most of you have been manipulated now let me shock you true witches don't appear in your dream now that is strange right the enemy is so smart that sometimes i'm not saying that you can't see an enemy in a dream but you can never truly know a witch in your dream let me explain this sometimes when you don't like somebody you can never see anything good from that person in your dream it doesn't matter what the person has done there are some people that are wicked don't misunderstand me totally brutal and wicked but true witches are on these guys let me share something let me share something that happened to one man that i prayed for in 2016 i was in south africa in in a place called cape town and you know I had a man that I was praying for. He, he was a drug dealer. He, and I prayed for him. He repented. I told him he need to leave that nonsense. He gave his life to Christ. Now, I, will, I put him on a, on a five-day prayer program, which he has to come to me every day for prayer. The first day we started, now listen to this. Now, most of you, I'm going to teach you some things. Most, his feet used to smell. His feet smells. Anybody that has a feet problem that smells like you are sweating on your feet, you are a fish in the water. You need deliverance. You might say, oh, Papa, it's just my feet. No, 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 no. There's a, there's a connection between you and the marine kingdom. That, that is why, if you notice from here down, we watch it on movies and everything. We just think it's ordinary. No, from here down, you see some people, they are always sweating under their toes. I'm not talking about maybe your leg is peeling and all that. You know, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about their legs smelling, their peeling. And, uh, how do I call this? Smelling, you, you know, it's, it's, it's sweating and all that. It's a sign that you have a connection with the water kingdom. So that man had that problem. And, and, and after I prayed for him the first day, he went back home. Guess the dream he had. He saw me chasing him with a long sword. And he was running. I was me, the prophet. I was chasing him in the dream. And he was screaming. His wife was busy waking him up. What is wrong with you? He was, no, oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Now, hear this. When he woke up, he said, ah, no, that prophet is fake. That prophet is fake. He's demonic. He's fake. And the, uh, thank God for good wives. And the wife said to him, go and meet him. Tell him your dream. Thank God for some good women. There are some women that are awesome. There are some women that are a blessing to a man. He said, go and tell that man what you did. Only for me too to have the same revelation. Guess what? I was busy chasing out. The demonic force that was busy fighting his life. But he, the demonic force used my uh, his face. Sorry, my face. So with a sword, the sword speaks of the rod of God. The Bible says, thy rod and thy staff comfort me. So rod speaks of dealing with something. It might be a sword. It might be a rod. But he couldn't understand the dream. Because what was fighting him. Do you see that? Not actually that the demon used my face, but used his face because the spirit, you know, you become one. The Bible says, he that joins himself with an harlot is one body. So when you are sleeping with a spirit man, or you are sleeping with a spirit woman, or you have a spiritual connection with the underworld, when you dream, you actually see yourself that most times it's not you. 
So when he came, he was scared after I explained to him, the feet started drying up. It started drying up. Now, guess what? When he went back home, he now saw himself now with a sword, pursuing something. <laughs> That was, <laughs> that was because the spirit of the water we always want to manipulate you out of where you will get a testimony. They will always want to manipulate you out of your spiritual covering. They will always want to manipulate you out of that person that has the answer to your next level. That and so most of the time they can send people, they can they can meet you in dreams. But listen to me, most of you have been manipulated out of where you are supposed to be. As I start to pray now, something will happen. God is about to correct your dreams. God is about to correct your dreams. I'm telling you, no matter what they stole from you in your dream life, as I begin to pray now, there's going to be a reaction in the spirit realm. There's going to be a reaction in the water underworld, in the snake world, in the marine kingdom, in the water spirit kingdom, in the kingdoms of the water. God is going to break you out from that satanic, demonic spirit some of you, your names, your pictures have been deposited. Some men, they are spam. They are spam. I remember a young guy who always who told me, uh, uh, God bless you. God bless you. Austin is watching me from Captain Park, South Africa. God bless you. Now, I remember a man who every time he wakes up, baby, I was, in, I was he's, he's a friend to Lily. I just remembered it now. He, every time he wakes up, spam all over his body. Spam every it's physical, physical spam. It, it has been happening to him for seven years. This was a rich guy, he reduced to nothing. Some of you, your spam men, some of you, what, what sponsors low spam count? A spirit wife, he doesn't want you to pregnant your wife. He doesn't want, he, 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 and listen, this doesn't care whether you're a pastor or you're a prophet or you're a singer or you're a born again Christian, they don't care spiritual things are deep and that is why if that thank god for broadcast like this god is about to set you free his whole body will be filled of spam and and he kept asking himself what is happening most times now i'll give you i'll give you five signs to know that the water kingdom is after you number one is the spirit of delay in anything at all money finance and nobody is free from this we all need to pray because you need to understand this that the world is surrounded 60 percent by water the water space is more than the land space god himself could not create the world until he dealt with water spirit most people don't understand this they keep saying um he that is in christ is a new creation listen to me forget all those nonsense preaching we live in a generation. The Bible says the world lieth in wickedness. Most of you are where you are today. Listen to this. Look at this. Jesus and the disciples were walking somewhere. And the, and the Pharisees came to Jesus and said, Master, thou payest no tax. And Jesus said, okay. He turned to Peter. He said, go to the sea. Now, for goodness sake, if you want to send somebody to go and get money, is it not bank you will send to person? Why would Jesus say go to the sea? He went to the sea. Why? Because the, the main target of poverty is water kingdom. The hundred poverty in Africa and all over the world is not government, it's the spirit of the water. It's not some people say, Oh, you need to work to be blessed. No, the Bible says, the Bible says, it gives the power to make wealth. I can tell you that there are people in life that have never worked, but they are not broke. They are people not because they came from a rich family, because their parents have handled this. We are where we are today because our parents, despite their their holistic mentality and how much they pray, because you need to understand something. Prayer, that's why I people a lot of people misunderstand me when I say prayer is not powerful. When you don't pray and hit the nail on the head, it's like taking panadol for stomach ache. Panadol is medicine. But you need to have a specific prescription of that drug that can handle that situation. Prayer is like that. Most of you are praying for money. You are praying for marriage. You are praying for children. That is the wrong prescription. Pray against water spirits. And for the next seven days, 
we are going to be dealing with this topic this time. So make sure you follow us on this page because I'm 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 about I'm I'm I'm, the, I'm, I'm led to start praying in the next few minutes. I'm going to please if you're just connecting, click on the share button right now and start a watch party on your page. People need to hear this. Mm. Suicide is sponsored by Water Spirit. Mm. Okay. Have you noticed that most times suicide is not ninety percent of suicide is not actually choking knife and drinking medicine. You see them, they will climb up to a up tree up a uh, house to jump down or they go towards uh, a place where there's a sea or water they jump into the is the spirit it calls you the spirit of the water it's calling you have you noticed that sometimes you go to the beach i don't know if it happens to people when you go to the beach when you're looking at the water it's like there's something calling you to come into the water it's like you want to okay, the people say okay just come and put your leg now put your leg and you might not even know how to swim we need to handle the spirit tonight. Kabola da subre etagabananda. Lengo bosho prakose. Even in the hand. You see some people, they sweat in their hands. It's a sign of poverty. It's, it's, it's a, you, you, you just feel, oh no, the place is hot. You know, people, as, the Bible says, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. Austin, God bless you. Austin is saying, your revelation is so deep, sir. I didn't know that sweating feet is spirit of the water. You see? Some, most people don't know these things. Kabora do shatada Oh, people have been delivered. I feel it in my spirit. The Bible says he sent forth his word. And his word delivered them. The word set them free. The word and removed them from that obscurity. You need to know these things. Have you noticed there are some people they sweat on their nose? They are not sweating in any other place, but they sweat on their nose. Have you noticed there are some people like that? It's a spirit of smell. You smell in the spirit. You are smelling. Because nose is a place of smelling. So people, people perceive a wrong order about you. It's like a wrong identity about you. So you don't really get helpers. <laughs> If you are watching this broadcast, you are blessed. I'm telling you. If you, if you are on this line, if you are on this broadcast right now, you are supernaturally blessed because you don't know what God is doing. As I'm speaking now, God is sending angels into your foundation. He's sending angels into, into your strategic places. God is sending the angels of war. As I'm, as I'm speaking right now, something is penetrating into your, your life and into your destiny. God is, is releasing grace. God is Akila Brota Satalamando Shopa. God is releasing you out of that satanic spell, out of that demonic deposit. Every time you eat in the dream, hear this, they have deposited a poison in you. Now, now, one of the reasons why I don't like seeing me in a celebration gathering in the dream is because it's manipulative and demonic. You see yourself. Now, somebody will say to me, man of God, but can't you dream a good dream? All the good dreams that you have been dreaming, how many of them have manifested? Let's talk. Have you noticed that bad dreams manifest more than good dreams? It's because it's a manipulation. God wants to set you free. Adabarada shada. Some people, some people, when they wake up in the morning, they see marks on their bodies. They see different marks on their bodies. It's a sign that witchcraft has marked you for a program. They see marks on their bodies. Most people, when they wake up, when they wake up in the morning, you see them, they have marks on their body. It's, 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 it's a sign that you are under surveillance. By the witchcraft kingdom. Fire is being released now into the water kingdom. God is releasing fire. Whatever that was taken from you, I don't know. I'm seeing babies under the water. I'm seeing, I'm seeing babies. This belongs to people. This belongs to women that have been crying for the fruit of the womb. And I'm seeing these babies under the water. God is releasing what belongs to you. 
that was stolen by the water kingdom. I don't know who you are or where you are watching from, but by the power of the Holy Spirit, your greatness that was stolen, your desires your that was stolen, your expectations that was stolen by the water kingdom is being restored right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we, we release angels. Remember, it was Jesus, it was the water that stopped Peter's business. Have you noticed something? Another sign that the water spirit is after is the spirit of rising and falling. You rise, you fall. You rise, you fall. You rise, you fall. Most people, that is what they experience. Rise and fall. They rise to a particular peak. They think everything is okay. Pew, they fall. They start as fresh again. They rise, they fall. They start as fresh again. They rise, they fall. It's a sign of the water kingdom. Wherever you are, I want you to, I want you to open, type this right now. Oh God of the prophet, deliver me from water spirits. Oh God of the prophet, you need deliverance. You need your life. I'm telling you, oh God of the prophet, deliver me from the spirit of the water. And you, you cannot be delivered without the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the true antidote to manipulations of the water kingdom. The Holy Spirit is the true antidote of deliverance I'm sorry to say this you might not like me but I'll tell you the truth 92% of single mothers have spirit husbands I'm telling you 92% of single fathers have spirit wives oh God of the prophet deliver me from water from the spirit of the water Kaborada shate, abarananta kamaronte, I stretch forth my hands to you. I don't know what they stole from you in your dream. I don't know your connection between you and the water spirits. But in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I speak to somebody right now, a woman, a man, wherever you are hearing the sound of my voice, Every satanic deposit of hell in your system by the spirit of the water in the name of Jesus, it catch fire. I release fire to catch it up. Let me show you. Let me share a, a revelation with you. Elijah was with the prophet of Baal. And if you study the prophet of Baal, there were more of marine prophets. And when it was Elijah's turn, Elijah said, get me bucket of water. Because Elijah knew that their power was the water. They took bucket of water and poured on the sacrifice. And after pouring on the sacrifice, when Elijah prayed, the Bible says, fire came down and leaked up the water. I decree on you that the fire of God will come down and leak every trace of marine deposit in your life. Every trace of the water kingdom, Paladopa, Kendopo, Bakwa Kabaradish, Indagazakata, Ebokrotopenda, fire of God, rest upon their lives. Fire of God, take over their situation. Fire of God, remove the reproach. Fire of God, burn down the satanic deposit. Fire of God, lick up that poison. Fire of God, Take away that expectation of hell. I decree that whatever, listen, in the water kingdom, many years ago, the Lord opened my eyes. The water kingdom has a storeroom where they deposit the things that they steal from people. Babies, you know, human parts, businesses, ministries, some of you, <clears throat> it's because you have slept with the wrong people. Let me tell you three ways they transfer water spirits to people. Number one is through dreams. Eating in the dreams, you know, 
Number two is physical sex. Most people have slept with wrong people, so that spirit becomes transferred. That's what the Bible says, run from it. Sex is sweet, but what you stand to lose is more. That's what people don't know. Sex is sweet, but what you stand to lose is more. I was, I was, I was talking with someone um, yesterday and he was sharing with me about something. About a woman who was, who, who, you know, married but without children. She had money and all that. And they took her to a man of God only for, for, for the man of God to reveal that she slept with someone, one big man or one rich man. And the man took her womb just by sleeping. So you can imagine. Imagine if you sleep with people who have a baggage of, of, of destiny disaster. You need to cry to God this morning. Some of you, some of you really need to cry to God this morning for his mercy. I'm telling you, mistakes that you have made. Because, because the water kingdom will always want you to see your right. That's one thing about the water. You are never wrong. That's why they call it manipulation. You don't know who your boyfriend has slept with and he slept with you. You don't know who your girlfriend has slept with and she slept with you. You don't know, you know, it's, it's, this world we live in is just a chain. It's a chain. And that's why you need to cover yourself with so much prayers and so much, because you, it is, it is ridiculous. What is going on in the spirit? But God is setting you free. Just pray, in the, just pray in tongues wherever you are. Just open your mouth and begin to pray in tongues. Open your mouth and pray in tongues. Listen, this is this is the time you have been waiting for. You better communicate with just praying the Holy Ghost wherever you are. Let go about Shabbat. If you don't know how to pray in tongues, just begin to thank Him. Just pray in the Holy Ghost where you are. Just open your mouth and begin to pray. If you don't pray in the Holy Ghost, just begin to pray. E brando l'ingratis, venunte brando sagayandos, in qua zavila grunta pa, in progodos de ketuga pa, en da bosha krinda zia, in gradosha pa, activate the spirit to work for you, activate the spirit to work for you. Activate the spirit. Let Zobalom Baninta in Guaranda no Shanda and Baruta Paradista and Quasada Landos in Brados Cadiza and Doboros de Cadirindes and Rekis Cabrandos in Quaradosa Pradesh Leprocoto Belinda in Quasavalagash. Come on, open your mouth and pray where you are. Begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Keboja Bala, Min Trobos Obredesh, Baruta Sada, and Tobraco Sakadish, Baruta Vena Grassos, In Crassubra Ita Gadash, Le Cruta Baradesh. In Barada Suba, Nin Crotobundas, In Gaziga, In Gaziga, In Gaziga, Shakubarata, En Tobrogodosha, En Dabaradosha. Yes, deliverance are taking place as we are praying. God is releasing angels into your dream life. God is releasing angels into your spiritual life. God is releasing angels to begin to take back what belongs to you. Remember the Bible says, it says he the, from the of, of John the Baptist until now the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violent take it by force. We are taking back what the enemy took from us by force. We are taking it back in the name of Jesus. Yaakob Aradaya take back your children take back your twins take back your triplets take back your business take back your marriage take back your love life take back your health take back your prosperity take back your lifting take back your star take back your glory take back your ne your next level take back your connections take back your favor take back your prosperity take it back right now by the power of the Holy Ghost we are taking it back we are taking it back, we're taking it back, we are taking it back. Le coparato in the baratunda and quasuva ida, a baratoke leba, baronta baradash, lika baraconta, and 
Kabranda Suke Kabaruta, in Guarado Shapanda, and Dobrasi Kabranda Kabalakush, and Doborosia. We are taking it back by the power of the Holy Ghost. We are taking it back by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your life must move forward. Your life must go forward. Your life must experience goodness. Your star must shine by the power of the Holy Ghost. Come on, keep praying. Keep praying, somebody keep praying, keep praying where you are. As you are holding your device, keep praying where you are. The anointing of the Lord is being released into your home. The anointing of the Lord is being released into your family. Leguba Karabandasha, in Tobragiza Vandash, Ebroso Brendelika, in Quadosa Prandasaya, and Shopolombono Madunda, in Quadosa Prenderia. The power of God is touching you. The power of God is touching you. The power of God is restoring you. The power of God is releasing you. Ela brato ja cabalanda in carato ze prande la coja en caparato be in tobra casuga en cobaratunda in talabatoja e quara da sapa en tapunda te lord deliver your people every deposit come on begin to tell the lord every deposit in you catch fire every deposit of the water kingdom every deposit in your dream e cabaratoya a Koboro Kotoba in Twaka Paradish, a Barato Daliana in Quarasa Paradish, Le Poco Prakita in Twaka Dogabai, I Paratasi Kotobaratia, a Quarato Japanda in Dasika Baratugia, a Quata Kataba, I Twasika Paratuga, a Quato Kabiakash, I da Paratuya, every deposit of hair, every deposit of hair in your family, in your body, anything that you have eaten in the dream that has been deposited in you every sex you have had that has exchanged your destiny make mercy speak for you let mercy speak for you let mercy speak for you let mercy speak Ikwada parato parato kubarakataya enta puda enta puda enta puda Lord deliver your people Lord deliver your people Lord deliver your people Lord deliver your people every sickness every pain every reproach ata kwasa i paratoga akwati kabakata endo porokoto i kwasa kato e koporoko pikara i kubarakataya akwasi kapata e porokoto pia in the Prokosika Toga, and to Parakataya, Isha Paradosia, and Croso Brigadisha, Iroso Regedusha, in Krodomo Shakataya. Your deliverance is happening. Your miracle is released. Your breakthrough is released. Your children are released. Your job is released. May you begin to shine. 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 Your star is released. Your glory is released. You will not remain in this level. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You will not remain in this level. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Something good will happen in your life. There shall be good news in your life. There shall be good news in your family. There shall be good news in your home. There shall be good news around you. By the power of the Holy Ghost. You are released from chains. You are released from that chain. You are released. In Prakota, in Prakota, in Prakota, in Prakota. In Prakota. You are separated. You are separated. You are separated from every spiritual covenant, from every satanic marine covenant, every seal of covenant. In all my viewers, I break it as a prophet. I scatter it as a prophet. I divorce you from that spirit man, from that spirit woman, that satanic underworld marriage. I divorce you. I break the chain. I break that chain. I break that. Uh, Convenant, I scatter it by fire. I scatter it by fire. I scatter it in Takwatsu Parada. Let that satanic ring catch fire. A baruta parata, a baruta parata, a baruta parata. Let that satanic ring catch fire. That satanic marriage certificate, I burn it by fire. A kabora to parata tire, a babuta parata That covenant, that covenant that you had with that man, that woman in the Water kingdom is hereby destroyed, is hereby nullified. I divorce you from that can a satanic union. I scatter it by force. Bele crucia ponda crisa pruda it was so paradaya it was so paradaya end of brocoto parataya. I'm seeing rings catching fire. God is showing me rings 
rings e la bruka paradashi me krobo soprandish me krobo soprandish me krobo soprandish me krobo soprandish liga bruta sakatoya en kwardo soprandasha satanic rings are being destroyed the god i serve set you free porodo jabala gradash Lika, the Bible says, He, the Son of God, has set free. Is free indeed. You know, now I want us to collect, take back what those what our world has taken. If God can open your eye to see what is going on as we are praying, you'll be amazed. Lives have been delivered. I want you to type, I'm taking back what belongs to me. I'm taking it back with 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 interest with interest with interest I'm taking back what belongs to me with interest you are not just going to take it back but you are going to take it back with interest because the Bible says it will restore all that the canker worm the palmer worm the locusts are stolen God is a God of restoration is a God that restores back to you what belongs to you and I believe God that this is your season. I believe God that the chains are broken. Begin to open your mouth and begin to take back what the enemy took. Abaratoya. Open your mouth and begin to take back your job. Take back your family. Take back your home. Take back your career. Take back your finances. Yes, Lord, I take it back by the power of the Holy Ghost. I take back my ministry. I take back my joy. I take back my fruitfulness. I take it back by the power of the Holy Ghost. Your life must move forward. Now, listen to me. If you're in Johannesburg, I'm coming to Johannesburg immediately after this lockdown. We are establishing our ministry in Johannesburg. So please, wherever you are, make sure that you become a part of this ministry. And if you're watching us around the world, it's important you follow us on this page because I'm going to be live again in the afternoon. I just came to pray for those of this issue. And um, I want you to understand that God is a God that answers prayer. Your life is restored. Your life is restored in the name of Jesus. Your life is restored. You can send me uh, a WhatsApp message on my WhatsApp line, uh, plus two, uh, no, I didn't ping it, I was just saying, plus two double seven, one nine two five, nine seven eight zero. Or you can inbox me on this page. You can ask for my WhatsApp number. It's also on the on the page, you know. You, you can see my WhatsApp number on this page. If you have not followed us on this page, it's very important you follow us. There is going to be testimonies. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. You, you don't even have an idea what just happened to you. There is going to be testimonies after this broadcast. Miracles have happened. That's That demonic force that doesn't want you to have your document have just been arrested. That satanic witchcraft for many women are going to get pregnant like this. I don't, if you are watching me and you're trusting God for a child, don't expect one, expect two, three, four, because it's going to be a, 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 a release of interest for your delay. Am I speaking here? If you're watching me and you're trusting God for a financial breakthrough, just, just be ready. Millions are coming to you. Things have just changed in the spirit. I want to I want to congratulate everyone that shared this video. Please, I want to know the country you're watching me from real quick before I go. And get a cup of water or a bottle of water quickly. Let's use that as a point of contact to seal up what we have what we have prayed for this morning. Because listen to me, this is divine. And I'm telling you, your story has changed. God has answered you. God has answered you. I'm telling you. A miracle just happened. I'm telling you, bigger than what you think, bigger than what you think, I'm telling you, mega miracles just happened. God has answered you. Oh, blessed Jesus. I would love to know where you're watching me from, what country you're watching me from. I see people watching me from the U.S. God bless you. Oh, wow. I want to know where you're watching me from. Bless you, bless you. Abarando Shagradish, the Pradish, the Sosia. Linko Brogodo, Captain Pack. Yeah. Azo, brother. Austin, try and send me a WhatsApp message, okay? It's very important. Uh, 
because I see you working with me. I see you working with me, Austin. God bless you. Um, uh, Graham's watching me from the U.S. Wow, wow, this is so awesome. This is so awesome. This is so awesome. You know, you know, God has done it. I'm telling you, the miracles that you have been looking for have just been released because whatever that is released in the spirit is released in the physical. When you, when you, when you overcome in the spirit, you overcome in the physical. It doesn't matter what you're going through. This is knowledge. Le Cobra Dosha. Bayelsa State. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Now listen to me. I always say this to people. It's, it's something that people don't like hearing. But I will say it. Peter had a water spirit problem. But he gave Jesus his boat. It was because. That is why the water spirit could not swallow his business. I want you to take a seed and say, man of God, I want to agree with you. This seed is to break me permanently out of every trace of water kingdom. I'm not forcing you, but wise people will listen. Peter gave his boat to Jesus and the boat became the saving grace for his life. We cannot talk about water spirit without talking about sacrifice. Jonah refused to give Jesus a sacrifice. So Jesus used the fish to swallow him to Nineveh. Anything you don't give sacrifice for, you can't break out of it. Anything you don't sacrifice for, you can't break out of it. Many of you are where you are today because of stubbornness. You are so stubborn. You think you know. When you want to use your physical or your mental logic to be able to understand spiritual things, you remain in the same spot. Take a seed now. Send me an inbox. If you're watching me, send me an inbox. Just send me an inbox and tell me, man of God, how do I send my seed? Whatever seed God lays in your heart. In my inbox or you can send to my whatsapp number uh those that are in the page on the page here please if you have not liked my page it's very important you like the page or you in fact preferably or you send me a whatsapp text on plus two seven seven one nine two five nine seven eight zero it's very important take a seed listen it will break you out of that chain and say man of god i agree with you i plant this seed into this ministry that every trace of what that kingdom around me is scattered and that is the boat that you are giving to jesus prophets are the jesus you see you have not seen jesus before prophets are gifts to your life and when i hear people sometimes when i hear people the way they talk i i, I just laugh and i just smile please I, I can't receive whatsapp calls right now i'm still live all right I, I, you can take it easy i'll i'll get, get get back to you once i'm out of the the broadcast it's very important if you like to be a part of this a uh, 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 seed please send me a whatsapp it's important it will deliver you. If you're in Nigeria, we have a Nigerian account. If you're in America, we have a PayPal account or, or, or Cash App account. If you're in um, whatever country that you are, God has delivered you. And I believe God for your life. Please like this page and follow me on YouTube. For, it's very important. You can search for my name, Prophet Okose Emmanuel. Just the same name on this page. And you follow me on YouTube. Very important. Subscribe to my YouTube channel uh, because I'm going to be doing some series too on YouTube. So make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel and also follow me on this page. It's very important. You be like who you follow. Who you follow determines your life. So it's very important that you follow me on YouTube and that your life will never remain the same. I am your humble servant, Prophet of Kosa Imano, and thank you very much for joining me this beautiful morning. Have a blissful, wonderful, productive, fruitful day. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you. Shalom.